Log, 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 talk radio. This thing right here yeah, is for my people in the streets. Yes, 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 today. Log, talk show. Welcome to our <laughs> free one mic. We talk about starting the show here. We, we are getting out here. We Look, in the pre-show, we was hot, so I know the show is going to be hot. But before I get started, I got to bring in all my co-hosts here. Uh, I always want to tell you, please go to realsportsguys.com. For everything real sports guys we got some great interviews on there uh with folks and great material in there so make sure you go and check that out uh you get a chance to see these guys talking about a lot of other subjects subject matter but tonight it feels like we already heating up we we already into it so i'm gonna bring him in uh here we're gonna start with my man hammer he's like our enforcer on it you know, on every hoop team you gotta have somebody who's your rick mahorn and he's our rick mahorn of the group. Marcus morris <laughs> <laughs> What's up, I'm man? Charles Oakley. I'm Charles Oakley. I'm from Shy. Happy birthday, Charles Oakley. Right? Go ahead. Yeah, Charles Oakley. Yeah, Charles Oakley. Yeah. How you doing, y'all? It's mm-hmm. Hammer in the House. We're going to have a great uh, discussion on Labor Day weekend. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we got the young, and we can finally see him. If I looked at our last podcast, we bought the pop. Uh, he was he like he was in witness protection program. You know, he was he was he was he he might have been snitching on somebody. That's all right. Sometimes we got to tell the truth out there in them streets. And so he didn't have the light on, but now we can see who he is. What's up, Darnell Kirkland Jr.? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. And I know today is a football day, but I'm not going to let you guys off the hook. What happened to your boy Giannis? I know you guys over there in Wisconsin, but. He can't okay. shoot. That's what's up. He can't shoot. He can't shoot. I've been saying that. I already told you why he wasn't the MVP, but I love uh, him here. I and they, and they, won him, so they won without him. They won without him today in yes. OT. They won without yes. him. Yes. Indictment. He can go to GSW. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. He, he go ahead. Go. You, there's no go ahead. that jumper all year. Well, yeah, Milwaukee's giving up on – that Mil- so the state of Wisconsin is giving up on Giannis. No, I'm not going to say that. that. It's just the fact that – don't hold us hostage, bro. I mean, if you want to be with – you want to be with Draymond, you want to be with uh, Steph, and you want to be with, uh, you know, uh, Clay Thompson, go ahead, man. There you go. Don't be holding people hostage. Andrew, uh, Andrew Wiggins, go ahead. Not now the young the young and now we can man. see him now. He's trying to throw some stuff on fire. Let me get my man Hank in there. What's up, Hank? Man, we need to stabilize this. Well, you know, y'all was talking, you know, Hammer said he was the um that he was the Charles Oakley out of the say, Man, you more like the Bill Cartwright throwing them bowls down in the paint. You know, and, and, and just and just stirring stuff up. They gotta keep separating the benches and carrying on. That's 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 what we're I see. Until, we know, were waiting until we were waiting until we got Cartwright. That's, that's what I see right there. Hammer the champion. You know, I, 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 yeah, okay. We're not going into that right now. We ain't got enough time. But uh, we want to, so I want to wish everybody a happy Labor Day weekend. This has officially been the unofficial end of summer, the uh, unofficial beginning of fall. But unfortunately, there's no football. There's no, there's no, there's the Big Ten supposed to start this week. Ah, we got to do something. We got to do something. But stay All safe, right. whatever y'all do out there. All right, we warmed up. Yeah, well, we're about to enter the open mic, and uh, you know, you know, with the revolution happening, we've always made this the power to the people segment. And so, uh, Steve Mash uh, gets hired by the Brooklyn uh, Nets, and Stephen A. comes out. We get a big debate. Hell, we had a debate here before the show about this uh, as well. And so, uh, you know, and I think most of us would agree that Steve Nash is a bright mind. Hell, he was the director for the Canadian. Uh, 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 Olympic program or, or the national program for the national team. You see the talent that's come out of Canada as part of that development. Um, you see it on display with people like Jamal Murray and some of these cats, these Canadians who are out here. You know, Steve Nash is seen as that mentor there. He's mentored a lot of folks. And so I, I think a lot of discussion is not about what you think Steve Nash is going to do as a coach. Um, and I think, you know, Steve Nash has definitely demonstrated his commitment to the issues that I think the, uh, NBA uh, and the players have seen as very important priorities for the uh, for for the um, for the league, and so I think he fits with all that. You know, obviously he knew Marks um, uh, prior to, uh, to being there. There's a lot of relationships, but it does speak to the fact that um, uh, we have a number of uh, of uh, coaches of color who are deserving, who are not getting continue to get those loops in the pipeline, and I think we got a different perspective on it with these guys here in the group, and so. Uh, Hammer, I'm going to give you the first – you know I'm about to cut you off, so be prepared for that. But I'm going to give you the first shot in here. But know that your time is short. So I'm going to you first. All right, go, Hammer. I'm going to let you come out the gate. 
So that's a great hire. I'm tired of these retreads. I don't care if they're black or they're white. And uh, Steve Nash is a great mind, great player, guy who did it. Not a guy who who uh, thought they could do it, a guy who did it. And so the fact that he had relationships with Sean Marks and KD, so what? I mean, the main thing about Brooklyn needs a championship culture there. They got a great squad there. And Kay Atkinson wasn't doing it. And so, yeah, I'm tired of Stephen A trying to, trying to, you know, make up, make ratings that aren't there. I mean, I don't know what the ratings are for first take right now or, or some other mess he's part of, but, you know, just stop it, Stephen A. Uh, the main thing is that uh, where were you when Derek Fisher got hired? Where were you when Jason Kidd got hired? Where were you when uh, other, other people got hired that were brothers, you know? So, I mean, don't give me that mess about white privilege. There is white privilege, no question about that, but that's not the, this is not the applicable situation. This is a gray hire out of box. I'm tired of these cats who the retreads like the Alvin Gentry's and the, you know, uh, the Stan Van Gundy's, uh, you know, the bottom line is that give Nash a chance. If he fails, he fails. That, that's the bottom line. But I think he's going to be successful. He's got dog in him and he's got one thing. He's got goodwill with his players from the, from the jump. And so great hire by Steve, by uh, Sean Marks, fellow Canadian and, uh, Let's go. Let's go, Nets. We need some. We need some basketball in New York City. Not the Knicks. The Knicks are garbage. So, go Brooklyn. There we go. We got the points there. So it's on. It's uh, it, it, uh, Hammer is official on this. He's saying this. Now we go to Darnell because we can see him now. We can see you clearly now. What's up, man? <laughs> got the lighting. You you on? What's up? All man? right. So um, I, I I pretty much agree with that because. If you look at um, coaches that have been hired without coaching experience, they usually meet two um, things. They're either point guards, for one, or they're superstars. And Steve Nash checks off both boxes. You had um, Do- you had Doc Rivers, which is a point guard. He-, he was hired without ever coaching. You had Mark Jackson, who got hired without ever coaching. Isaiah Thomas, that got hired without ever coaching. Jason Kidd, without- he got hired. He's never- he-, he wasn't a coach before that. So he, he checks off those boxes. Another thing we didn't bring up is um when you're um when you're the when you're coaching um the Brooklyn Nets and you're coaching guys like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, these guys are um these guys have a specific like personality that you need that um they need they're like basketball nerds, basketball snobs if you um if you would if you will. But um because if if you get if you bring a guy in there that they don't respect, it can it can really tank the locker room. It's, it's gonna get bad real quick. So you need a guy that's in there that both Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving they can they can respect their basketball intellect. So now when he's ta- he's talking, he they're gonna listen, and once they listen, the whole team is gonna follow behind them. That's leadership. All right. Uh, Hank, bring you up on this one as a, as a closing remarks on this segment. Okay, I'm going to give you all some names. Al Adams, Ray Scott, Casey Jones, Nate McMillan, Tyron Liu, okay? Just to name a few. Going going, going all the way back. Um, and, 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 and we have already uh, mentioned Doc Rivers, okay? Uh, you, you got black coaches. The one thing that I like about the NBA – and we talked about this off air, and I want to bring it on here, is they've been more progressive than any of the other four major sports in regards to head coaches, you know, taking over franchises. If you took the time, you will see that a majority of the franchises in the NBA has at least taken a flyer at a black coach, you know, and, and, and several of them has won championships. My God, you think about Boston, you can talk about the the the, the racial uh, divide in the, city, in the city of Boston, but Casey Jones ran it there for years in the 80s, okay, with Larry Bird. So these are the things we have to look at with the NBA that I just think that while, while – while, and, and I'm with Hammer. Yes, there is white privilege. There's no question about it. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. But you can't – if you're Stephen A. Smith, you can't spout that in the NBA. That's not fair. Because you, you've had coaches that have been getting a flyer and have not done it at, at, at the level. But the NBA continues to hire uh, uh, black coaches. They continue to do so. Mike Brown, okay, who was at Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Mike Brown, who was Mike also Wood- in Los Angeles. I mean, good God almighty, how did he get there? 
Okay, so you 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 got an argument that's that can go either way. With that being said, you know, uh I, I think Steve I think Steve Nash is a great hire. I think he's a good hire, uh especially if he comes highly recommended. You want a basketball mind that 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 can and, and in the NBA it's more about uh managing personalities than X's and O's anyway. Steve Nash is another one of those players that, that has done it. Um, has actually been the team captain when he was at Phoenix, getting it in. So, I, again, bravo. I think it's a great hire. All right. Well, we, we're going to keep watching this, and uh, we'll keep bringing these conversations up. You know, I, I, I will close this by I think really what the NBA has to do is work, not really in the coaching space, but I think it's still in the executive suite, uh, the general managers. I think even as it's gone to analytics, I think um, that, that those hires. Those it's hires true. Are, owners, too. Not yeah, like owners. owners. Owners, I mean, you, you, you got owner, and I think ownership is probably a place where they could probably make some big inroads because I think there's resources and people who would be willing to get into the ownership space. But I do think executives, I think that's a space they can really do more work in those spaces. Um, and I think sometimes analytics has, has a racialized uh, connotation to it as if cats are not thinking through some of these things. And we're finding that you, it can't just be about the analytics, that you have to be able to, uh, understand how data informs you, but you also have to have the ability to, uh, to as they would say in the analytics, the, the unobserved uh, uh, kind of data elements. What are some of those unobserved things? And I think that's where the qualitative stuff comes in um, and people who know how to balance that. So I do think there's some opportunities there and we'll, we'll keep having this part of our conversation. But we're going to get into some NFL stuff that we kicked off in our last podcast and we're going to kind of conclude it uh, here in this cause. We're going to talk about, we're going to get into kind of what you, uh, these are our, our NFL experts here at RSG, these three, they, 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 have, they have laid down the gauntlet in their, uh, the previous podcast. And, and now we're going to get into the playoffs and in the in, uh, conference championship, Super Bowl, and, and then talk about, you know, some honors at the end. And so for those who, who, who may not know, we'll kind of do a quick review of this uh, for like divisional winners. Uh, Darnell had Green Bay, Dallas, the 49ers and the Saints. Hammer had, Philly, Seattle, Minnesota, and New Orleans. And then Hank had Minnesota, Dallas, Seattle, and Tampa Bay, uh, all on the NFC. And then the AFC, Hank had Houston, Miami, Baltimore, Kansas City. Hammer had Buffalo, Baltimore, Tennessee, and Kansas City. And Darnell had Baltimore, Buffalo, Tennessee, and Kansas City. And so um, some of the breakout players, Darnell thought uh, Courtney Sutton, would be a breakout player. He never had Josh Allen as possible breakout player. Cortland, uh, brother, Cortland. Cortland, oh, Courtney, oh, Cortland, Cortland Sutton, my fault. I was typing really fast while y'all were doing it. Thank you. I was trying to catch y'all as I was going. Thank you, give me the Cortland Sutton. I should know that because I was looking at drafting him. But anyway, let me go down here. Uh, and then we have, uh, Hank had Ryan Tannehill. Uh, and then a team that they thought were over-deliver, Darnell had Denver, uh, Hammer had Las Vegas Raiders, and then Hank had Washington. So that's kind of catch you up from our previous podcast. So with the new playoff system, there's 14 teams in the playoffs. So all your division winners, we got a, we got an extra team or uh, uh, extra couple teams here to think about uh, as we talk about putting together the playoffs. And so uh, I want to get a sense of who y'all going who y'all think will make the playoffs uh, in the NFC. And so I'll start with Darnell because he 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 sometimes he'll get a little deep. He's a good tone setter for us. When we have- <laughs> conversations but who, who do you think will make the playoffs uh, in the nfc well, so you said there's 14 teams this year yep so it's expanded yep yeah that's seven per that's seven, seven per league yeah yep per, yeah. so you got um uh, four divisions and now you got yep. three wild cards yep three wild cards. three wild cards all right so I got one by one, one by one by i'm doing this off the i'm doing this off the top right now so this <laughs> well, that's why i like you you're a freestyler all right, so um, obviously my division winners were um, Green Bay, Dallas, the uh, 49ers, the Saints. I had Baltimore, Buffalo, Tennessee, and Kansas City. And we'll so, just do the NFC to start, so I'll give you a little chance to oh, think. Oh, just we'll the start. NFC first. Okay. Yeah. So I, I had, my, I had um, Green Bay, Dallas. San Francisco and New Orleans. So my three, um, my three wild card teams would have to be. I'm looking at um, 
uh, Tampa Bay with uh, with Tom Brady, of course. Um, uh, they're they're loaded right now. They picked up uh, Leonard Fournette at running back, so that offense is even the rich is getting richer. So uh, I think they're a shoe in for the playoffs as long as um, Tom um, Brady stays healthy. So um, other than that, Seattle. I'm looking at Seattle. Um, they're another team that they should be right there in the um, in the thick of things in their division. So they might be a game off. So I think they're going to make the wild card as well. In my third team, oh, I got – I'm thinking. You know what? I think um, Pittsburgh might be able to make a run. In the or NFC. NFC. Oh, NFC. I'm looking at – I don't know why I saw, I saw Baltimore on, on somebody else's – Turn other. the lights back off. Cause you're not <laughs> 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 you're with the lights off. Why is Baltimore on here? Oh, it says AFC Hank. I was about to say, what the heck? Because because it had you going twice back to back. That's why it said that. So I'm looking, I'm looking at NFC South. I already picked two teams. Let's see West. I picked two teams. Minnesota. I go with Minnesota. Minnesota. All right. I, I thought you was gonna drop this one off, and then he he, he went. We, we don't turn the lights on. We can see him, and then he just he just went and and like I said, turn, turn them off. Like, 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 like Teddy said, turn them off. We gotta take him out the game. I told you to hold on to the football. All right, all right. We're gonna go with Hammer. Who you got? So you got your divisional winners. You got Philly, Seattle, Minnesota, New Orleans. Who you got in the wild card? Wild card got a. Uh, uh, San Fran, uh, Tampa, and a big surprise, Arizona. Watch. With D-Hop, with that offense, they're going to get it in. I, I, they're going to be my second surprise. So, so I Arizona. Hope. Arizona. Yeah, he believes in the Kool-Aid. He uh, believes in the yeah. coach. He well, I think, the- I think D-Hop is going to get another another level, man. I think that's what happened. So, and defense is already good. So, and then um, – in the uh, AFC, I got uh, – we, we, We'll come to the AFC after this. We're going to go to Hank and then come – we'll we'll come there in a minute. So, I want to think about think about who you all going to have in your conference uh, championship on this. But we, we'll go to Hank to, to finish out the NFC. You had Minnesota, Dallas, Seattle, and Tampa Bay winning uh, their divisions. Uh, wild cards. Yeah. So, the first wild card has got to be San Francisco. Uh, quite obviously, I think they're going to battle with Seattle all year. I think I said that last week, so they're going to be in there. Um, second uh, wild card, New Orleans, clearly a, a loaded team. I look for them to 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 make a to to make a push. And that third one is 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 tough, but I'm going to go with Philadelphia over Green Bay simply because Green Bay does not have any wide receivers. They didn't do Aaron Rodgers any justice. So with that being said, I'm going with Philly to be the third wild card. Before we go to AFC, I mean, with San Francisco, do you, you know, they, they talk about the hangover from the Super Bowl. You know, you saw that happen with, um, you know, um, actually same same coordinator, but now the head coach. You saw that with the Falcons, right? Um, you know, and fell off. But y- y'all think they're going to be strong enough to bounce back? In the defense. The defense the is defense, tight. I mean, they're not going to win the division. They're not going to win the division. Defense is tight, man. But Bosa, I mean, Bosa, yeah. Bosa, yeah, Bosa's just gonna be, just gonna be lights out this year. I mean, it, it, they can, the way they rotate cats, it's it's, it's silly. Yeah. I mean, Watch out for right. Javon Kinlaw. That's another name. That too, yeah, because they that was a great draft pick, uh, young and wise down there. I, uh, the lights are dimming again, but that's another story. But young and wise, but yeah, he right about that. Kinlaw is a beast. All right, so you so and let me just say let me just say too what 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 San Francisco does is they they run they do the basics. Had they done it last year, they would have won the Super Bowl. They play great defense and they run the football well. And if they just go into this season understanding that that's their strength, take a lot of pressure off of Garoppolo having to do anything crazy, then uh, they and they've got a great tight end over there. They've got a shot to that. Yeah, they're going to be a playoff team. They could get back if you know if uh, they just stick to what they do. And don't and don't overthink it. But what's interesting, if people believe Seattle's going to do something, Arizona's going to do something, they got to beat somebody. Somebody got to lose over there. So it's going to be interesting to see how those picks. Uh, the Rams are going to be one of the worst teams in football. That's, that's what's going to happen. So y'all thinking the Rams, the Rams are going to be the worst teams in football. 
So, so, so they're gonna be the worst teams in football. They're gonna be one of the worst teams in football. Watch. So the protege, the guy that everybody thought was on the rise, is gonna be looking at uh, looking at seven and nine. Who is that? No, nah, he's gonna be looking at McVay. three and thirteen. Oh, the coach. Uh, I, I thought you were gonna McVay. say um the quarterback. I like Jeff. No, Jeff no, McVay. McVay. Everybody was talking about McVay. That's yeah. how your boy got hired over there at uh in Arizona because he looked like he knew. Cliff Kingsbury, yeah. Yeah, so you know he, he he was the golden child. Now y'all y'all saying so we got some interesting conversations to play out this way. All right, AFC back to Hank. Hank, you had Houston, Miami, uh, Baltimore, and Kansas City win the division. Who are your wild cards? Well, this one to me is pretty easy. Um, I think that you have to get Tennessee back in there as one of the wild card teams. Um, who did you say my division winners were again? You had <laughs> Miami. You had Houston, Miami, Baltimore, <laughs> Kansas City. Okay, this one is, is is tough. Okay, but I believe that you you cannot the 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 hood you can't deny. Okay, so I look for in this expanded. Can't I, I look for New England to get back in there? Okay, now here's my shocker. Here's my shocker, because we didn't mention this team last week, and this team is loaded. I look for Cleveland to make the playoffs this year. I now I see the heads nodding, but this team has got this team. Baker, man. What did I say last year? What me? What did I say last year? Well, li listen, listen. Fool me what? Man. Shame on me. Fool me. Yeah. Listen, listen. I had yeah. Cleveland in the playoffs. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm, it, because they've expanded, and you got you've got some question marks with Pittsburgh. You've got some, and I and I'm sorry, I don't trust Buffalo's quarterback, but that team I is do. loaded, and they've got a defense. I know you do, but they've got a defense. But he, but 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 was it Allen? He like I, said, I, I was concerned with him coming out of Wyoming, and he just uh, supported my concerns last year in the playoffs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my neck out because he had no receivers. That's the reason why he got Stephon Diggs now. Okay, he had nobody to throw well, to. He, well, but yeah, well he, he had, had nobody to throw to. He kept throwing to the other team's cornerback. I mean, yeah, because I mean, he didn't have I mean, Stephon Diggs. He's got Stephon Diggs. QB ready to throw Stephon Diggs now. The team was well over. Uh, Josh right. Allen's going to be most improved player. Josh Allen was doing the same thing in college. He was a hard right. Exactly. He's the I'm same thing in college. So hold up. Brian Dabo is going to bring it. I'm going to let this go. So, Hank, let it be written. You put it up here. You, you, you like the Charles Barkley of football. I guarantee you got Cleveland in there. I said, I'm sticking my neck out. <laughs> Wait, you know, did you Cleveland gonna make the play? I didn't say they was gonna win nothing. Did I you realize? The did you um? Did you are are you aware that um Grant Delpit tore his Achilles? Say what? Are you aware that Grant Delpit tore his Achilles? Okay. The yeah. um the 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 what's it called? The the top defensive back in the country. Oh, uh, I forgot I what that. that award is called. But yeah. uh, Thorpe Thorpe the right? Thorpe right? award, the Jim Thorpe yeah. award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achilles two weeks ago, so. They're gonna be. There's gonna be a hole there. There's gonna Big be hole. a hole there. But you look at the Big rest. Hole. Like I said, I'm looking at the rest of the uh, AFC. And what you're, it's what you're saying to me is, if it's coming down between them and Buffalo, all right. And and you're saying to me that you got faith in Josh Allen. Be my guest. I do. I do. Okay. I don't have I faith think, in Baker Mayfield. I, I, dumb, I think we're dumb, but I think I'm better than Baker Mayfield. I, I have so, more faith. Let me in just the say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get off. Baker Mayfield's an idiot. Say this and get off. I just believe that Cleveland just dropped the ball and kicked it out of bounds with, with the coach that they had last year. So you must have I, stock and flying J. You must have stock and flying J. No, I just the reason why you're saying that. The the only reason why you're saying that. The the Buffalo Bills are gonna be playing lesser competition than uh, Cleveland Preach. will Preach. Young, 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 I'm saying what? the NFC. The Pittsburgh going to beat them twice. So. Nah, yeah, Pittsburgh going to be a disappointment this year. Why? Yeah. Pittsburgh going to be twice. They're they're disappointment going to be disappointment this year because Ben Ben ain't going to be as good. Ben's not going to be as good. Ben ain't going to be as good. We can start with elbow at 38 years old. We went eight eight with three quarterbacks. Man, you talking? You talking? Ben now. No, I'm talking on that. You ain't putting no money on that. Go to Vegas and put some money on that. Go to Vegas and put some money on that. Go to Vegas and put some money on that. I will. I don't have to go to Vegas. There's ways they're going to take your money. They're gonna take your money. I will. They're gonna take your money. I will. They're gonna take, will. Your, money. take you your money. Put that Cleveland belt in. That's how Vegas, that's how Vegas Cleveland keeps on building bills because of you. They building the bills because of you. Uh, hey, I I I vote with Tomlin before I vote with Cleveland and Buffalo. 
All right, let's go with it. All right, Hammer, you're speaking right now. You got Buffalo, Baltimore, Tennessee, Kansas City, uh, and uh, yeah, 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 Buffalo, Baltimore, Tennessee, and Kansas City. What's your wild card? What's your wild card? Wild card, definitely uh, New England, uh, definitely Raiders, and uh, give you a surprise pick. I like uh, Denver. I like I like Drew Locke. I like Corden Sutherland. I like that defense with Big Fangio. So that's going to be my surprise. I think Denver's going to get it in. They they came out. Uh, they closed uh, last year real hard, and I like that team, man. I like I like Melvin Gordon in the backfield with Phil Lindsay. Like that defense, uh, I like it. But but we talked about before, Cleveland Baker Mayfield will not get his fifth option picked up. He will be <laughs> okay. a failure. And Kevin Stefanski is a joke. You had Gary Kubiak is a better AOC than uh, Kevin Stefanski. And then you got uh, Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, Big Ben is over, bro. I mean, you All got right, reconstructed well, surgery. Stick with your elbow. He's over. Because I wouldn't be as excited about the Raiders either. Raiders. Raiders. I'm excited about the Raiders. I'm very excited. About the Raiders. I, I love them, but yeah, they were the they, best young backs in football. They, they got Henry they Ruggs it. gonna ball. They, they Henry Ruggs it. gonna ball out. They gotta prove it. They got. They, they will. They will. They, they will. They got it. Super Bowl coach. You, 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 you talking about Kansas City being good? You talking about Denver being good? Somebody gotta take some losses. Yeah, Raiders. Who do you think will take the losses? The the, uh, the Chargers Kansas gonna be City like one, two and fourteen, bro. Kansas City not gonna take. They gonna be two and fourteen, bro. Oh, they will lose Denver, every game in, in the division. Because a Tomlin team, even when he was decimated, he still figured out how to be eight and eight. That's a coach. He is a coach. But decimated, I, I'm not saying they'll, they'll, they'll be eight, how to, how to, eight how to and eight again, miss the playoffs. Yeah, that's a they'll coach. That's a coach. They could do that. Yes, in I got they love for Tom. They could do that in, in the Raiders. I love to see him with the Bears. I love That's to see Tom with the Bears. There we go. Y'all fire him. Right. We love to take him right now. We'll wait and see. As 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 as, as the guy said uh, in, in the show, is that uh, it's been spoken. We it's been <laughs> we have to wait and see. I know Vegas is gonna take your money, right. Devon. Put that right. back down. They waiting for your money. I, I, I buy. I, I, they gonna I, build I, a new I, hotel with cats like you. I I, I buy. I buy you. Uh, I, I I buy you lunch with, with my winnings. All right, okay. we'll be physically distanced. All right, so got Darnell to close it out here. You got a little time to think about it now. See, I even gave you a little time to think about it. what you got. So you. All right, so I know. Yeah, sure. Baltimore, Buffalo, Tennessee, and Kansas yeah. City as the divisional winners. Who you got? So for my wild card teams, I'm going with Indianapolis for the same. Oh, reason. nobody said Indy, boy. I I think Indy's an interesting one. Talking about Indy. I don't trust it. I Phil Bruce on the can't trust the list. <laughs> I'm going like to for the like same it. reasons I said last week. Great offensive line. They have um, they, no quarterback, they though. Jonathan Taylor. Hey, they go, they're not going to lean on the quarterback. Jonathan Taylor fumbles too much. I live in That's Wisconsin. True, but he, I live in Wisconsin. Old. He's Mr. Taylor, Fumble. If he Melvin fumble in college, he's going to fumble in the pros anymore. All right. Let, let him get his list out. Okay. Go ahead. I'll be quiet. Yeah. You got Indy. Cut me off. Cut me off. I got Indianapolis. Um, I have. I already said Pittsburgh. <laughs> I already said Pittsburgh in the other one. So I have Indianapolis, I have Pittsburgh, and I uh, have New, New England. Because well, with the caveat, if 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 everybody, if the whole team doesn't opt out, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. The, the cast opted out, opted out, man. Yo, man, I've seen some of opted out. Dante Hightower opted out because his mama's sick, man. But, what are you but about, if, if, if there's anybody, they still got the they still got the top rank defense. Yeah, Go yeah. If yeah, there's anybody, you can make adjustments. Turn. That's the hood. I would not yeah. bet against Belichick. It's it's like like Zeke said uh, when uh, they beat the, <clears throat> they had to make sure they left the building. They had to make sure they, the clock hit zero. That's what New England. We you can't sit in with New England till you sure all the teams are is. It, like nothing else has happened. I wouldn't bet against Belichick, but there you go. So the Indy one is an interesting one. I, I love Indy. I think Indy, I agree with Hammer in terms of with Phillip Rivers. I bet he would have probably stayed with, uh, uh, you know, the previous quarterback that had Brissette. Brissette, but they, they decided to go with Phillip. But I like what they're – That's Frank Wright. Again, we got a relationship. That's Frank Wright. We're yeah, boy, you know, so right. we'll see Jacoby what he will be back in the starting lineup. You're really yeah. be back and start my watch. Yeah, you know that that's the one question. But I think they upgraded at running back. You know, as long as Jonathan can hold on to football, they have both of them. I mean, they, yeah, they, they got they, 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 they got run the ball. Yeah. Marlon Mack gonna game. get you can't fumble in the NFL. You can't fumble in the NFL. John Taylor will be sitting. Yeah, they'll teach him how to hold on to that ball. Next year might might be some watching with us. 
You can't fumble that. Don't teach him how to hold on to the ball. Remember Adrian Peterson? Man, you, you don't, 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 don't disrespect Adrian. Now, Adrian Peterson right. had that was the knock on him coming into the league. Yeah, he, he, he was, had, had fumbleitis. He did. You're right. Man, he didn't fumble like Taylor, dude. Yes, he did. Taylor fumbled. Yes, he, he didn't did. fumble like Taylor. I live in Madison. Bro. <laughs> I mean, come on, uh, I live in Madison. Y'all make it when, when the pandemic's over. Come, I live. I, I can walk to Camp Wendell. We going when the pandemic's over. We gonna go. All of us gonna go to a game together. And, and like I said. I li- I walk. I can walk to Tom D. Wills. Yeah. I walk to. I'm 15 minutes away from Cam Randall, right? I, I watch. I watch. I went to almost every I game last year. I was in the press box watching. Dude, I know. Like I was press box too. And the dude fumbles uh, too much. I, I love Taylor. It just surprised me. He's a, he's a great running back, but he he fumbled in some key times. So yeah, he got a hold on that football. But if he on that football, you're not gonna catch. He fumbled Illinois. He fumbled yeah. Illinois. It cost us Yo, a chance to be yeah. in, the, in, the, in the in the CFP. Yeah, but if he can hold on to that football, he gone. <laughs> he ain't holding on to football. If you don't hold on to that, no. Yeah, we, we'll see. All right, we'll go to conference championship matchups. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do both of them together. So you got the you got the NFC matchups and you got the AFC matchups. You know, uh, uh, here we we'll, Hank. We'll start with you with your NFC matchup championship matchups and your AFC championship matchups. Woo. Well, okay. So the NFC, I've got. I got to go with Seattle against Dallas. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking at. Seattle okay. against Seattle against Dallas. Wow. Okay. That's what I. That's what I see. Um. Uh. And 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 uh, kind of like what I was looking for last year with um, Patrick Mahomes and um, and and uh, then Jackson, Lamar Jackson, didn't get it. But uh, I, I got it. I think it's going to happen this year. With Dak versus um, um, uh, my boy from Seattle, uh, Russell Wilson. Russell, Russell Wilson. Wilson I'm Seattle, yeah, Russell Wilson. Wisconsin. That's right. Wisconsin. That's right. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. North Carolina State. North Carolina. Wisconsin. North Carolina State. Carolina State. Carolina State man. Listen, listen, listen. It's gonna be it's gonna be that kind of game. It's gonna go right down to the end. But I think that uh, Seattle gets it done and gets into the Super Bowl. Want me to go ahead into the AFC? Yeah. So we we go to the AFC. Okay, so my AFC. I now, didn't put Kansas City in there already. So you know, Kansas City's in there. That's a lot. <laughs> but now my my dream goes back the other way. I'm looking at Kansas City versus Baltimore. Why Baltimore this year and not last year? I think Baltimore is going to be able to run the football. I think with J.K. Dobbins helping out Lamar Jackson in that backfield, I think that's going to help them immensely. Um and and I think, but but I'm not going against Patrick Mahomes in the Kansas City Chiefs. That's a, that is just a downright machine. So my Super Bowl for to 2021. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll get to Super Bowl picks. So okay, but that that's my. We'll, that's we'll my. come back to Super Bowl picks. So right now your championship is Seattle versus Dallas uh, in the NFC, uh, Kansas City versus Baltimore in the AFC. All right, Hammer NFC Conference uh, championship uh, matchup. I want to – I'll take Seattle uh, with uh, Russell Wilson against uh, who that and uh, Drew Brees. Wow. He said Drew Brees going to make that run. Drew, Drew Brees said all that Tom Brady talk, I ain't having it. You know, They got, they got Emmanuel Sanders. That was a great pickup. That was a great pickup. That's a great pickup. That's a great pickup. That's a great pickup. Great pickup. Great pick in, 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 yeah. in, in Hank even saying Dobbins, as much as I – you know, I, I'm not a Buckeye fan, but that's a great running back. There's some key pickups in both. Yeah, that's a great pickup yes. too. Are, are I was stunned. Out. I was stunned. He was at. He, they let him go that far down. The that draft. far down the drive. He'll I was make like, My money. goodness. That, that's he'll get his money earlier too. He, he's happy. He was happy when he went down second that's round. Right. He'll get his money earlier. That's no fifth right. round option. That's right. Yeah. Your AFC matchup. I, can I put Kansas City on in there? I put Kansas City in there for you. Uh, I got like Hank, man. I got like Hank. I mean, Hank. Great mind <laughs> think alike, bro. Yes, KC, Baltimore, no doubt. I mean, just with, with KC, uh, you know, Talaire going to bring it, the, the running back, defense improved, Mahomes going to be healthy all year. And then uh, you got Baltimore with J.K., right? And, and, and something you have to think about, addition by subtract, subtraction, get rid of Earl Thomas is going to help the locker room, help, help the morale. He's a cancer. Mm-hmm. So bottom line is uh, uh, I, I, want, I like Baltimore. Um, and uh, Casey, no doubt about it. And, and your guy, John Harbaugh, you grew up with, 
that caveat, uh, one of the best coaches in football, you know, he's going to do it. They, they learned from last year, and uh, Lamar's got dog in it. And Lamar's going to be – he's not going to be running as much because he's just got they got dog. Dobbin. Exactly. I mean, they got Dobbin, and, and he shouldn't be running as much. He'll get hurt. So the fact that he's going to be running less, he's going to be more dangerous. So that's, that's what's scary about He's going to be more dangerous. If he runs for 900 yards instead of, what was it, 1,200? Oh, my goodness. And you're going to have uh, Hollywood, you're going to have an extra year. And, uh, man, it's just, they're going to get in. The, the tight ends are tight. I mean, the defense. Yeah, I can't wait to see that, bro. All right. All right, Darnell. You got some time. You, your light done gone down. You see, like, as the light goes down, you get a little sharper. Uh, now you look like get out, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> All right, who you got? All right, so I got the Seattle Seahawks versus the New York Football Giants. No, I'm not. Oh, my goodness. I, I didn't really got, say got, got yeah. right Andrew, Andrew right. Thomas, right? No, Andrew Thomas, your guy. Oh. Seahawks. Andrew Thomas, right? Andrew Thomas, the great left tackle, right? I have oh Seattle Seahawks versus um, Sir Thomas Brady and the, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. That's the first time we heard. I thought, yeah, I forgot Brady went down there. I thought yep. was about Brady. You know, he loved that Michigan theme. All right. Who you got in the, NFC, in the AFC? So, in the AFC, I have the Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs, just like everybody else, for the same reasons as everybody else. Um, another addition, um, Baltimore got Patrick Queen from LSU. I mean, mm-hmm. and they got um, the linebacker from um, – when they get the linebacker from Wisconsin, too? Or, yeah, Braun, right? Yeah, yeah, Zach Barr. Uh, yeah, he gonna be. He got this. He gonna Zach come. He gonna go with it. I mean, they got. They're loaded. They're loaded on the. They're loaded, man. They're loaded. On that side yeah, of the yeah. field. Yeah. So, wow. All right. Here we go, Darn. I'm gonna stay with you. Your Super Bowl matchup. Super Bowl matchup is gonna be Baltimore, and um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Versus the Bucks. Oh, that could be a good one. Wow. Versus Tampa Bay. All right, that that is. Got to make sure we record this for the posterity. All right, Hammer, who you got? KC Seattle, no doubt. KC Seattle. Uh oh, that's going to be an interesting match up there. I think I have a surprise for people. I don't think uh, KC's going to win as many championships as uh, people think. Here, here we go. And I'll leave it there. Yeah. I go. I'm going KC in Seattle as well. I think this. I think KC is is scary good on the offensive side of the ball. Um, this this offense could be better than the Rams' greatest show on turf, simply because uh, Hilaire being in that backfield now. Um, he he's he's a home run hitter with those with those with those wide receivers. You know they didn't kind of they really didn't have that last year, and when you remember uh, the Rams. Uh, the St. Louis Rams when they had Marshall Falk, when they when they had Tory Holt, and then, and uh, that that team was nasty because you can get a, you can get the back out the back. That's what the Kansas City Chiefs are right now, and you got a quarterback that can throw from all angles. They're going they're going to be nasty, scary good this year. So you, who you got as the champion, KC? I'm taking Kansas City to back to back. Kansas City in the back to back. All right, it's, it's, it's here. We got it in the books. Kansas City for Mank. Uh, we're going to go to Hammer. Who you got? Seattle it? all day. I don't think Kansas City is going to do back-to-back. Seattle. Uh-oh. Russell Wilson in the duel. is takes out the showtime. And then Darnell, who you got? I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I got, <laughs> um, I got John Harbaugh coming out at halftime saying, Ray Lewis ain't come, ain't, ain't walking out that door. <laughs> Ed Reed ain't coming out that door. It's not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. So we got, we got Darnell with the buck with Tampa Bay saying the addition of Brady and the other pieces put around him, they, 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 they put it together and they got the work done. We got Hammer saying the Northwest, the 12th man, Seattle will be making, the, making moves and getting the championship. And then we got Hank saying, hey, don't get crazy with it. Showtime back-to-back. He learned from magic. He understood. He got focused. He stayed with it. 
you know, he's a he's a generational star, and he's about to put them numbers up. So we, I, I think all of y'all are making really good cases uh, for this. Um, there's some there's some things we could debate in terms of wild card and setup, but when the dust settles, I could see a combination of any one of these teams ended up in the Super Bowl uh, as well. But along with this, we got end of season awards, and so um, you know we, we we got things like player of the year, rookie of the year, coach of the year, defensive player of the year. We're not going to hit all the awards, but I thought we just you know just some uh, get your get your predictions out here in terms of you know who you think. Uh, you know, might be in those positions. So uh, for player of the year, uh, uh, Hammer, uh, who do you think is going to be player of the year? Patrick Mahomes. I mean, yeah. You think Mahomes? Yeah. He'll make the run. Too many people love him, huh? So, yeah. yeah. Except, right. for, except for the NFL cats from uh, voting for the top 100. They hate him, but that's it. <laughs> they can't, number four. Are you serious? Yeah. Number four? They must have been smoking that day. So I ain't talking about cigarettes in? either. Oh, got? I'm taking Patrick over Mahomes all day. Again, you know, there's there's going to be a couple of players on that team that's going to get recognition because of him. But he is the straw that stirs the drink. So I'm, I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. And I, I got a feeling there's going to be a contrarian here somewhere uh, in Darnell. Who you got, Dar Darnell? I'm going with Mahomes because um, – I feel like he's gonna have he's gonna absolutely destroy the rep the record book this year. Mm -hmm. They're adding um Clyde Edwards and Larry. They still the team's gonna um because if you look last year he was injured, so now he's yeah. like healthy, uh, full season ahead. He's gonna he's gonna have a great season. All right, uh, uh, kind of rookie of the year, best rookie, uh, Darnell. Who's Chase Young, okay. huh? Chase Young. Who was it? Chase Young. Chase Young's going to be the rookie of the – well, they, I know they separate defense and offense, but yeah, Chase Young's going to be the best rookie of the year. For ours, who we think going to be the best rookie, we're just going to do it that way. Uh, Hammer. Chase Young, too. He's just a beast, man. And in, in that system, too, and, and all the talent around, he's just going to be – he's just going to produce, man. I mean, it's going to be crazy. With Vera, too, it's going to be crazy there. man. That's the only thing that will be good about Washington football Giants is uh, – Washington football Giants. Yeah, well, watching football, it's going to watch football franchise. My bad. All right. Hank. J.K. Dobbins. J.K. That's what people were saying. J.K. Dobbins. Listen, the, the pressure he's going to take off of Lamar Jackson this year is going to be – because they're going to use him out the backfield. You're going to see – they're going to, he's going to be more Marshall Falk-like, you know, uh, with that offense. And, he's going, and, and you're going to see a lot of him. So, so they, what you're saying is by the middle of the season, they're going to be looking for J.K. Dobbins. That's when Lamar Jackson is going to be able to clown, but he's going to get enough done to get the rookie of the year. All right. Hammer, who's going to be coach of the year in your mind? Gruden all day. Who, nice. Gruden? You think yeah. Gruden's going to do it? Yeah. He's going to turn that team around big time. And the rugs pick was a tremendous pick. All right. He understands uh, modern day football with that pick. There you go. All right, Hank, who's going to be coach of the year? Bill Belichick. Because nobody's really th thinking about the New England Patriots since uh, Brady is gone. And now the hood is going to show you what kind of coach he really is. Okay, you've, you've already had – I picked Miami to pick the winning division. You had uh, others just pick Buffalo. Bill Belichick is going to make uh, New England uh, a competitor again, and nobody's thinking about it. Yes, there he is. Bill rises up on it again. He said, Belichick, I can't knock it. Can't knock the hustle. Darnell. That intrigues me. I was thinking about picking Bill Belichick, but I'm going with Brian Flores, the coach of the Miami Dolphins. He was in a team that it seems like they had given up. It seems like they were tanking. He took over, and um, they, they just – they showed a level of competitiveness, a level of fight that uh, – Really impressed me. Now that they have um, Tua, they have some more pieces in the draft. I think um, they're gonna they're gonna have, see a big increase in wins. And usually, the, t the guys that win Coach of the Year is the guy that takes the team from um, you know they make they make a jump. It's not always the team that um, is at the top, but the team that that goes from like the bottom of the league to like middle of the pack. I think that's um, 
going to be Brian Flores. Yeah, I was impressed with how hard the team played for him, even when the front office did everything they could do to deplete their lineup and do everything, that how hard that team played and competed. You know, he, he's, he's got something. You know, if they give him a chance to kind of build the program down in Miami. Sometimes a program like that, you just got to have continuity. Find you a coach you really believe in. I think, you know, think about what Baltimore's done. You think about what Pittsburgh's done. You think about some of these where, they, you know, they find a person, they just build and work with them through it and build a program create the culture. I think he's got something special going on. All right, defensive player of the year. Uh, Darnell, who do you think is going to do that? I mean, it, I feel like I pick him every year, but I feel like I can pick him every year, so it's going to be Aaron Donald. He's one of, one of the greatest defensive um, players of all time, but he's still in his prime right now. You got him um, with a full season of Jalen Ramsey in the back and um, defensive backfield. Um, he's going to just do what he does. So I got Aaron Donald. All right. Hammer, who do you got? Defensive player of the year. Ditto Donald. He just dominant every way, run, pass. Even though it's going to be a bad team, he's going to be just put up ridiculous numbers. So. All right. Hank, who do you have? I'm going with Joey Bosa. I think that he's going to be one of the better players on one of the better defenses in the NFL this year. You mean Nick Bosa or Joey Bosa? Uh, the one is on San Francisco. Who's Nick that? Bosa, Nick. Yeah. That's Nick. Bosa, Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. But it could be Joey if he can no. stay healthy. All right. Nick Bosa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get him confused. Nick Bosa. The one from the, uh, that, that one. Okay. <laughs> I just think he's going to be – because that defense is going to be nasty. And he's one of the nastiest dogs in that defense. But he they rotate too much though. I don't see what like uh, Young Buck talked about uh, Ken Law. They got too much, too much rotation in that. So I I, I think he's he could he could he could grade the best as far as playing, but he's not gonna put the stats that you have to get defensive player of the year. So mm. yeah. So I think a dark horse is gonna be Fitzpatrick over there in Pittsburgh or TJ. Yeah, Fitzpatrick and Ball. Yeah. So I think there's some there's some. They gonna have a dark horse. He'll be he, he's number two, number three. I mean, he's he's an yeah. impact player. So is Miles Garrett too. So yeah, Miles so, Garrett. As long as he don't, he don't not, get somebody like helmet, as long as he don't right. nobody out. So they're yeah. not gonna give it to him. They're gonna, gonna be like Kobe or no, they're not Kobe gonna give five. it to him. But I'm just they're saying. gonna be like <laughs> yeah. No, Garrett's one of the best edge rushers in in in, in football period. Um and yeah, so you're right. They're gonna but he's gonna have a great year. He's not gonna clown. Wait, you know. I said, look out for Tre'Davious White in Buffalo. Yeah, he just got paid too. So, but that that's a that, that could be a that could be a curse, busting a curse because now he got paid. He might not he might not get in. <laughs> I would I would have held back on a contract, but you know, hey, the Pagulas yeah. wanted to pay him, so God bless him. He's yeah. one of the best in the league. Yeah, pay these folks, give them their money. It's it's a yeah, pandemic. Yeah. Get, it's get a pandemic. They get that money. Yeah, he took get that, that money right now. Get walk so I can't stand back at all. You know, I would have yeah. taken that four year deal. Yeah, take that money now. You don't know what the future holds. Dude, no, Dak had a good weekend. You saw Deshaun Watson, he's getting 39 a year. Yeah, so but. looking at that. I don't know about McCarthy, though. Y'all y'all, y'all believe McCarthy. I, hey, I live in Wisconsin. I don't believe McCarthy. Hey, I saw the worst McCarthy, bro. If Dak, if Dak doesn't get it from Dallas, he's getting it from somewhere else. Not, well, not, not as much. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this. We'll find out. But I, y'all, we do know this. Y'all on wax right now. Y'all, on wax. y'all can go back and look at this podcast and think about what y'all said about who did what, and then we'll revisit. We have to. Re- I'm gonna be a soothsayer. That's what's gonna be. That's what's gonna be. Uh, you gonna, gonna be, be a soothsayer. You gonna, like, you gonna, you're gonna be like Barkley. I guarantee. And they gonna be like running over there to. The, I didn't say guarantee. I just pick. They gonna run over there to the Vegas stuff, and and, and they gonna be people gonna put their money down and say, "What did Hammer say?" I'm gonna go opposite on that one. I'm gonna get paid this week. I ain't greeny. Yeah, they they gonna go over there. They gonna do it on mine. I'm they, they, we, we'll see. We'll see. Everybody feels this way on the on the Sunday before the season start, but by the next Sunday, it's all going down here. So we will see how everybody feels. Next week, you know, we're gonna get into a little bit more. We're gonna be getting close uh, uh, on the NBA in terms of where folks are going. We'll be hitting on a little bit of NBA talk. Your college football will be waking up a little bit. We'll see if the experiment is going to be working. Because uh, them cats from the SEC, they flying out like flies. Them, them brothers got smart. They're like, hey, uh-uh, we ain't going to do it. No matter what these guys say, I ain't playing. Yeah, cats in LSU. Cats like LSU. His dad, um, 
said he didn't want him to play. And he yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for his father. Father stepping in and being smart. Thank on, you. On crack. I mean, Lee Corso was the only one up there. <laughs> Lee Corso was the only one up there sounding like somebody making sense. Lee, just like me, they can start the season in February. Thank you. Let some wisdom rain in on somebody. Okay, really? About that. Yeah, we'll man. talk about that next week. We'll see what's going on. But what we're going to do always right now, we're going to close this thing the right way. We're going to drop the mic with my man Hank. Thank you. But before I really get into my uh, drop the mic topic, we have a dilemma here in RSG that we really need you, the listeners, and you, the, the watchers, to really help us with. After this show, we're going to do a GoFundMe. What we want to do is get light bulbs and lamps <laughs> and floodlights and flashlights and anything possible to get young in some light over here. You know, darkness is a terrible thing, okay? And, and, and we're going to start the Let There Be Light Fund for this young man because this is becoming really, really a, a, an epidemic in uh, uh, a, a biblical proportions, my folks. It's because you don't understand, you know, when you live your life in darkness, you know, you'll never see the light. So please, please, please give to the Let There Be Light Fund in care of Darnell Kirkland Jr., RSG 2020. So now we're going to get to our, uh, <laughs> 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 we're going to get Not right to there, Hank. Hey? I don't know. You know what? I, you know, somebody, somebody's already starting to donate. But I do want to talk about this date uh, 18 years ago because it's significant. It is significant that 18 years ago in the U.S. Open, two sisters played each other in which Serena Williams played a sister Venus and won her second grand, uh, championship in the U.S. Open. Why is that so, so, so significant for today? Is because now we're at a point where uh, those girls are still playing or those ladies or those women, should I say, are still playing. Serena is one of the most uh, consequential, influential uh, tennis player, women tennis players in the world ever. And she is still playing. But 18 years ago, on this date, 2002, on Labor Day, she beat her sister. Now, her and her sister and Richard Williams and what he's done with those, with those young ladies for women's tennis is absolutely phenomenal. But I think we need to just take a time and take a moment to just look at that. And just kind of say we just want to go back in history to when two sisters, you know, started something that's been going on now for 18 years. But again, this was brought to you by the Let There Be Light Fund for young Darnell Kirkland Jr. Love, 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 talk radio. This thing right here yeah, 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 yeah. is for my people in the streets. <laughs> yes, 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 today. Love.